Ladies and gentlemen, I have some exciting news for you. Rocket League, with a new update, have finally fixed the Golden Moon. Since they came out, you weren't able to trade up any items. That meant a much lower chance of getting mainframes from this crate. But now, they fixed it so you can finally trade everything up. I've got so much to talk to you about in today's video. I'm going to be opening 50 of these crates. So if you're excited, please do drop a like. Subscribe down below as 70% of you watching this video aren't subscribed. And we are so, so close to 945,000. We're like 200 away. So let's try and hit it today. And then in a few days, I'll open the remaining 100 golden moons and do more trade ups. So now that the trade ups are fixed, we can do even more golden moon openings. So we're going to get in and open these. It's very much going to be a background thing because I've got a little bit of a story time for you today. I'm going to react to all this as normal, of course. But my goodness, it has been an, un it's been an unbelievable week. It's actually been probably one of the worst weeks of my life, not to beat around the bush. But basically, I haven't recorded a video in about a week. Yesterday's video that you saw with the Gold Dominus was recorded ages ago. Hence why it may have seemed a little bit outdated in terms of the topic of the video. Obviously, being the Gold Dominus, uh, I think it's still in the item shop. Just. It's been a long time. But obviously, that came out like a week ago. And that's why that maybe was a little bit outdated. But basically, as you guys may or may not know, I've been pretty ill since the World Cup. The Football World Cup since the middle of December. And it's been non-stop it's been terrible i had sort of tonsillitis I possibly even had covid i had the flu everything like that that's a boost coming up so we don't need to worry about it i got my i got antibiotics and all that started to get i think a little bit better and everything like that but then on sunday night it was i woke up and i was in absolute agony i was in the worst pain in my life i thought i was dying um phone 111 basically went to a and e and was in there from 2 30 a.m and didn't finish in the hospital until midday. It was an absolute joke. I was on a drip for a couple of hours. I've been bed bound for the last few days. Today's the first day where there's any sort of semblance. Oh, that looks kind of sick. Any sort of semblance of reality for me. And which is why I like to have my videos recorded up until the next Wednesday when I finish my work week on the Friday before, just in case something like this happens. But I've never left it this late. This video goes up in about six hours. I've left it as long as I can without making a video to try and record. But essentially, I think as well as all the tonsillitis and the flu and everything, I've basically developed a silent acid reflux, I think it is. So even if throughout the day I've got a sore throat because what was flu and tonsillitis, I soothe it during the day. Even if it does get soothed, it's not going to get better over time because every night when I go to bed, acid from my stomach is coming back up and basically burning my throat and lighting it on fire. We got the cry clone. I'll take that. So it's only been this week since I went to A&E that I've been taking a different approach in terms of medication that I'm finally starting to feel a bit better and I'm finally starting to recover. So if you follow me on Twitter, you would have seen tweets about it. I haven't tweeted about how I'm feeling for a good couple of weeks because I thought I was over it. But my goodness, this last week's been terrible. A&E is a horrible experience. Just sat there because not only are you forced to just sit and do nothing, and wait in a room with a bunch of sick people. It's not like you're even well and can just kind of chill and relax. You're unwell and you have to sit in a room and do nothing. And it's absolutely horrible. I've been sleep deprived. I haven't slept. So that's the TLDR. So the reason I'm saying this is one, it's an update about me. And I say this because also in some of my videos over the last month, as sick as I think my videos have been, I've definitely been a little bit more short tempered and slightly irritable. <coughs> Alright, I managed to blag it for a couple minutes. We're good. And that's because, in all honesty, this has kind of, well, really got me down. I, uh, I would say, you know, almost to the point where I'm, saying, you know, I'm depressed. It's been that long. Um, but the fact that I now think I've got a proper diagnosis as to what's going on and I can therefore treat it and it can start getting better, I'll finally be back on good form. But obviously, as I said, I like to record ahead of time, get videos made. But in trying to rest my throat and my voice, I don't know. Come on, baby! The silent reaction is so much better for the throat because I tell you what, if I start screaming, it's going to kill. But titanium white reactors, yes, please, yes, please. <sighs> My gosh, an impromptu no reaction crate. That was absolutely unreal. Look how gorgeous that car looks, by the way. Saffron Sunsetter. I love it. That's why I've equipped it. Oh my goodness. So due to my pre-recording and my preparation, I've been able to not miss an upload. Obviously going forward, I don't know if tomorrow I might wake up feeling worse due to recording today and everything like that. So I'm not entirely certain how it goes. So you might see me do what I did back in August when I went to Tenerife for two weeks and upload instead of maybe a long video, instead of pushing out something, if I can't quite get it done, you might see me upload a short or I might re-upload some 
funny slash best moments from the past as a short. And obviously, another thing that's interesting is for a lot of creators as well in Rocket League, more so than me as well, is that shorts on YouTube can now be monetized. Now, obviously, there is the monetary aspect of it in terms of earning money from views that you get on the shorts, which I think is great. But the way YouTube has always worked and the thing that I'm so intrigued about and the reason why I might post more is because YouTube has always recommended and pushed videos more when they are monetized, right? And I've only posted one short at the time of recording since the shorts have been monetized. And that was my black main train, no reaction trade up. And that is my best performing short out of the last 10 that I've uploaded. So I'm thinking if YouTube starts to recommend shorts more often, if you're someone that has shorts monetized, because not everyone does, but I might start posting more shorts and it might allow me to cope with what I've been going through. They look sick, by the way. I'm very much putting on a brave face for this video because I know it's it's 10 minutes in and out. And then if I have to clock out for the whole day, then I have to clock out for the whole day. And that's fine. And to anyone that sent me messages, like I said, I haven't been super vocal about it online. Certainly not really in videos. Certainly not to the extent to which things have been going wrong for me in this past week. I sincerely thank you. Um, it really means a lot. So we're going to open these 20 crates. We're going to see it through. We're going to smash it out. Ooh, I tell you what, though, it does feel good to finally be on the mend. Because if I if I have to give myself a scale of 1 to 10 as to how well I feel now, I would probably give myself a 5. But on Monday slash Sunday night, I genuinely would give myself a 0 0.1. Like, I was alive, but, you know, 0 0.2. I was conscious. But kind of wish I wasn't, not going to lie. I wish someone would just knock me out in that scenario. Genuinely, that would have been ideal for me if someone could have just knocked me out and I woke up today. You know, I just didn't want to live through that. And uh, it was genuinely horrible. But anyway, enough about me. I know this is a Rocket League crate opening. And most of my Rocket League crate openings, first of all, I do waffle. That looks sick as well. I get some really cool items here. And I do waffle on about random stuff. It is my channel. And I was, it was going to be either me talk about it in a crate opening where a lot of people can watch, enjoy the crates. And obviously then the fact that they fixed the trade ups made it even more likely for me to want to do a crate opening. So I was very happy with that. It was going to be either that. That's nice. Or I sit down and just do a, a like a talking vlog. And whilst I really enjoy doing those and some people enjoy watching them, I feel like I can let more people know the message and have more people watch it if it's a crate opening. So that's... Why I've spoken a lot about myself. I know I get some comments on my videos saying, dude, stop talking. Don't quite understand that logic because at the end of the day, it is my video. And I've got stuff that I want to talk about it. I like to think of my crate opening videos a lot. Well, I say crate opening videos. To be honest, all my videos actually are kind of similar to the phase Jeff style. There are some creators that are completely separate from their YouTube persona. Bro, the painted exotic luck. They fixed the crate trade ups and the painted exotic luck. I didn't get any exotics in the first episode. We've had like four or five now. Some creators, it's very much a production. And I totally understand it. Those creators that make one video a week, one video, two weeks, one video every month, they're not going to be personal and talk about the personal life in their videos. But creators that make videos daily, it's a little bit more personal. It's a bit more like I'm addressing. It's a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you and me. You might be doing your homework, eating your dinner. You might be in toilet gang, obviously caught you lacking again. So be that's another boost. Because I upload every day, there are certain videos where I feel like I can be more personal with you much like like i was sort of mentioning phase jeb when he does his like sort of cut comms basically in his highlight videos he'll randomly talk about stuff in his mind if there was a recent ufc fight he'll talk about that if there was some controversy he'll talk about that not make it the title and thumbnail of the video that'll be gameplay related but just sprinkled in there'll be anecdotes about him and his life and he's a youtuber that i've really enjoyed watching over the years and i love the connection that i feel like i have with him and he has with his audience and that's what i try and emulate with you guys and that's why i feel closer to you guys because I make videos like this every so often. Obviously, you've got the gameplay highlights when I can be high energy. Obviously, high edits. Everything's hilarious. Jokes. I love that. But this video, too much has gone on. That's unbelievable, man. That's crazy. What a crate opening this has been. No black market so far. We'll get those in the trade-ups. But what a crate opening. Um, there's been so much that's gone on in my life. I just thought, you know what? Screw it to out and out just crate Rocket League chat. We can talk more about that later. Let's make this one video as, as a full update to talk to you about what's happened. And I think the worst thing about the whole illness thing, other than the pain Sunday, Monday night, is the fact that it stopped me from sleeping. I normally sleep so well, and because I haven't been sleeping, you can't really get better. So that's the story with me. I'm finally on the mend due to changing my approach as to how I'm trying to get better. It'll probably be about two months when I'm fully better from when I started getting ill. And my goodness, I'm going to be grateful. But with that being said, thank you for listening to me ramble. Let's get to the trade-ups. Come on now. We can do this. Oh, titanium white nippers. I'll take that. That's pretty cool. All right, here we go. So this is probably stuff you'll want to see. These are the five imports we got from the trade-ups. Nothing really. 
Fidget spinners forgot about them, but get in the bin. Ripped comic, you can go. Your golden moon. Oh, there's a few golden moon stuff in here. We could maybe get another trade out of this. Dynamos, you're gone. Your golden moon. I'm gonna keep you. I'm gonna keep. Okay, so I'll keep the titanium white stuff. I'll trade out the rest. Perfect. Bang. Dynamos again. All right. Now we've got one black market we can get, which is fine. If we go to most recent. We've got the black dracos there. The white rats. So we got all these seven exotics today. We're going to keep the Balakaras. I saw someone. There was a clip or like a, a screenshot. It wasn't a video, so it looks a bit more sus. But they had a Black Infinium in a crate. I don't know if that's possible. Because if you don't know, the Black Infiniums is literally just the Infinium wheel with a, a, a completely matte black circle. No detail, just all black. So very sick, like a black hole. And I don't think they've been into the game up until now, it would be, if, what, if that image was true. But I don't expect that's real. So what I'm going to do... I'll keep the Burnt Sienna Infiniums for now. Why not? They're going to get traded off eventually. But the White Reactors were sick. So 50 crates. We got some cool painted imports. White Reactors. And this! Oh, no paint. But I tell you what. It's not a bad start. First video, we got no exotics or black markets. This video, we got painted exotics and black markets. The next video, we're going to get painted exotics and painted black markets. So that is going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please do drop a like. Subscribe down below to join the Pixel Army. Thank you for hearing me out. If you watch this far into the video, why not include... I think it's something to include in the comments so I know that you watched this far. Something about Sub-Zero. Your favorite color Sub-Zero. Nice Sub-Zero. Just so I know. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video very soon. And if it is a short, please do bear with me. I'm working on it and I appreciate your support as always. Fly it in a missile Haters throwing shade Never pick me Not an issue I am a beast I'm at the top I run these beats I hold my spot So stop before it hits you It's bigger Pixel